Okay, welcome to the vlog. Just pulled the camera out of the backpack. It's uh, shortly after two o'clock, and I found this over here at Kent. That is a very strange looking front splitter on that. It says, uh, oh, it's the AC schnitzel or whatever tuning. It's got M wheels on it. I think it's just a 335. As you can see we've got a shitty day here today. They said 64 and sunny. It's been raining all morning. The car's at home in the garage. We got it right in with my mom. 335 with a little bit of tunage on it. Looks pretty cool to me. All right, class in about 10 minutes, so that would be better, I think. They're working on the museum over here, Rockwell Hall, and uh, I'm going to go over to Merrill Hall and get my works done. It actually feels really cold. It's about 49. It's supposed to be 64, typical Ohio. So a lot of open space here. This is pretty part. Class time. All right, it's 10:30. Uh, pretty much rained off and on all day, and was very cold, about 50. Uh, so this has been inside all day and it's still very clean. Um, I went to work on something that has bothered me with the car ever since I've had it. It's over here. On the wiper arm hinge, as in where you would pull this part up to wash the windshield or whatever more effectively or service the wiper blades, uh, this hinge right here, it was, it was just like the paint wore off of it. It was bare metal and it should be protected so it doesn't rust in the future or anything. And I've never gotten around to do it because I didn't want to take the steps to protect everything while I painted it. So I have some matte black outdoor paint that I've used uh, actually on my exhaust cans down here. From the back of the car, if you get down like this, you can see, obviously not in this daylight, but obviously there's the four exhaust tips there. And then behind that are the mufflers, whatever, uh, and they were the paint had come off of them. So I painted those like a year ago. So I finally got to this today, which involved a couple minutes of preparation with some light masking tape. This has probably been dry for hours, so I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. I was very careful with overspray um, during the preparation here, which I did with paper, thick paper towels and masking tape, because obviously I don't want to get crap on the paint after I freshly wiped, after I clay barred and everything months ago. So I'll pull that off, and I'll show you what we got in a minute. There we go. Nice clean job. Just that real piece, that, the, uh, the pivot point, the pin in there that connects the wiper arm to the blade arm here uh, now looks good. So it's been dry for several hours, but I'll let that sit and I won't use the service position on the wipers for a little bit. Uh, yeah, one less thing to do around here. And that is it for today. I know it's a bit of a short one, but if you want more, go watch that 15 minute one that went up uh, Sunday or Monday or Tuesday or whenever that was. It's very cold out here, so I'm going to finish this up and go in and edit and try to get to bed a little earlier. I have the one class tomorrow, which is review for an, uh, a uh, midterm exam Monday. I don't think it's going to be bad. Uh, very few people are probably going to attend that review, but I am going to just to buff up on the notes or whatever. Why not? It's free and it'll help with the grade, so I'll go do that. Charging the iPhone 5 because it is dead because I've used LTE all day to hotspot to the Mac and stuff when I'm out. So. Okay, I'm going to go wash that applicator pad, get that done, that was for the car. Oh, that Zeno stuff smells so good. Somebody asked me what wax should I use on my 2002 530. Zeno, best products, as far as I'm concerned, best products you can get for a car. I know there's a lot of good ones, but I've got tons of stuff up here, and it isn't cheap, but it isn't ridiculously priced. One of these waxes, Z2 or Z5 is great. Leather in a bottle, plastic magic, show car wash, clean gloss enhancer, spray shield, spray, spray seal stuff. Uh, there's more back here, more applicator pads, and there's some hiding behind these bottles up here, but it's, it's great stuff. Highly recommend it. Zenobros.com. With that, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday. Good night.